Eyewitness News 3 continues. A local woman claims Pocatello has a feral cat problem, and her newly formed group is aiming to stabilize and control that population. She says the cats are part of our community, and we are all responsible for their welfare. Time to introduce you to BFF and their mission, and pay it forward. They can start having kittens as young as four months old. Pocatello has a feral cat problem, according to Nancy Cheadle. And when kittens can start having kittens, you can see how it can easily get out of control. We average about 60 cats a month, and that number seems to grow every month. Cheadle says the Pocatello Animal Shelter used to provide trapping, neutering, and release services, but discontinued in the spring of 2001. She says the need did not go away, so she and two others decided to form Bannock Feral Friends in July of last year. We humanely trap cats, we get them fixed, we return them to their territory if possible, and then we have a colony caretaker who provides the food and water for them. Cheadle says a cat can have three to four litters per year. She says many of these cats started out as domesticated and then get abandoned. But after generations of breeding, it becomes a growing problem for the city. And when kittens are born, she says they are exposed to the elements, predators, and disease. She says the goal of Bannock Feral Friends is to get the feral cat population stabilized and under control. Um, we're constantly getting calls about colonies that people have been feeding and that have grown out of control. They have seven of these feeding stations scattered throughout the city. They usually consist of a couple shelters as well so the cats can get out of the elements and then once a week we put in fresh food and water. The group is looking for volunteers to be colony caretakers. Other volunteers have helped. The Friends of the Pocatello Animal Shelter has stepped up to help with some funding. The Bannock Humane Society has given them cat vouchers at a reduced cost and she says they work with some great veterinarians. That allows us to do what we're doing. Otherwise, we would not be able to financially support this. Time to pay it forward. Nancy, how are you? Hi, good. Good, I'm Corey with Mountain America Credit Union. Oh. And we're here today because of what you're doing in the organ or in your community. And we're here to pay it forward. Oh. So I brought with me today $500 in cash. Oh my gosh, okay. That I know that you can put to good use yes, to continue to. that will fix a lot of cats. <laughs> yeah, to put that to good use with those cats and, and find new homes for them and, yeah. and continue to touch the hearts of many others, just like myself as an as a animal lover. So on behalf of Mountain America Credit uh, Union, so we'd like much. to pay it forward for all that you do for the community. Oh, thank you so and much. And continue your generosity. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. For That's all such that you a do. blessing, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that was very unexpected. <laughs> The best way to get in touch with the group is their email, bannockferalfriends at gmail.com, or message them through their Facebook page, which is Bannock Feral Friends. And they use Venmo and PayPal as well. I have all this information with a simple link in this story on news3now.com. Our Pay It Forward stories air the second Wednesday of every month, so if you know of a nonprofit organization or someone who deserves to be recognized for their contributions to the area, let me know. Log on to news3now.com and click on News under the menu at the top left of our home page. Then click Pay It Forward. You can find this story and you can watch past stories. You can also fill out the form to submit your nomination. It comes right to me. Or you can send me an email to my address. That's Todd with two D's dot Kunz, K-U-N-Z at news3now.com.